So today we are heading up to the lakes as a, a group of four, um, Lake District. We're going to go up there to pick up something um, for the car and then maybe do a little bit of looking around and exploring around. See a few sights, check out some lakes, hopefully get to see some forests or woods for Charlie. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Where are the woods? We'll go and find them. And then um, we do have baby Indy. He is over here in his seat. Obviously not very talkative, being a week old. And Kaylee's with us as well. So <laughs> we'll go from there. See you shortly. Hello. So we've been up to Ulverston and we've picked up a NATO hitch for the back of the Discovery. Um, future plans are to build a Sankey Overland trailer. And Charlie's got his camera. You're gonna take some photos, aren't you? We're just making a quick pit stop at Booths, which has been recommended to us by a couple of friends. Um, they do get quite a lot of stuff from here, but we're only stopping for some meat, some burgers for later on. So we'll go in, check it out, and then catch up with you when we get to Windermere. Bye. Bye. No? Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. So we did decide to go to Windermere and um, pass through it. Wasn't very many places to park, it's quite busy, the weather isn't exactly great. The laybys we tried to find where we can cook food and make something to eat, um, most of them are pay and display. They don't offer a great view on the road that we're on at the moment. So we've decided to carry on and head over to Ambleside. So we're over in Ambleside, well, we're on the entrance to Ambleside at the moment. Um, and um, we're going to carry on round, but we thought while we could, we'd stop, stretch our legs and admire the view. Even though the weather isn't exactly great, but, you know, we're still outside, we're still outdoors, still trying new places, trying new things. See you in a bit. So we managed to find somewhere to stop um, in Ambleside, paying the display car park, but it's pretty much on the waterfront. We'll stop making out over there. Not very far away. I'm gonna cook some burgers now, some chicken and a cup of tea and coffee. Maybe walk over and see the birds, see the boats. Catch you in a bit. <laughs> Now I'd like to show you one fantastic piece of equipment that I have and take with me. Um, it's called a ghillie kettle. I will flip the camera around shortly, show you a quick video of it. But basically, it's uh, it's a cylinder with holds water on the exterior and you light a fire in the middle. Um, you can use the fire using anything. So I've just lit it, I'm hoping it's going to take. Um, I don't have any little fuel logs that you normally use or little um, fire blocks that you normally light, not on me anyway. I will have a look, see if I've got some, but I'll show you very quickly what it looks like. So, this is it. Draws air in through the bottom. Nice little fire down there. Heats the water on the outside, and then you pour it from there. So, I'll show you a video when that's fully going. Fantastic piece of equipment. Now, I did get the ghillie kettle from um, Neil and Steph at 4 by 4 Bought it at the Adventure Overland show. 
um, last year maybe I'm not sure but I was put onto it by a good friend of mine Paul Bannister we used his up in Scotland and that we used that for the Scottish Hill Rally it was um, about one degree zero degrees all day everywhere was frozen and he pulled this this kettle out got it going and that saved the day saved the day I mean you can use a gas one but where's the fun in that you can use it it's multi-fuel um, sticks twigs leaves whatever you want to put in this it'll burn it get your water nice and warm um, you can actually as well I do use it in the teepee again Paul Bannister good friend of mine put me onto this where you wake up in the morning in a teepee you relight your fire you bang this on the top you get back in bed your stove will reheat get your teepee nice and warm or your bell tent nice and warm and then on top of that when the, ke when the brew's ready kettle's ready make a nice little whistling sound for you to wake up to and make a cup of tea Right, bye. So we've just had a nice little rain shower. I've decided to stop cooking. We've had some burgers. I do have chicken and cheese left. Um, we brought them up in the angle with some nice cold milk for the cups of tea and things like that. Cans of coke. Pretty full food wise. A few burgers each. And Nice cup of tea, nice cup of coffee. Provided to us from our killing camp. We are in Ambleside. I will take some videos shortly, some pictures of the surrounding area. But yeah, it's not been so bad so far, except for the cold. Right, see you Just a quick one. Gilly kettle, into the base. And taking the stone, pour some water over it. Soak up all the heat, stone cold now. This idea and wolf box or Hannibal box was provided by Paul Bannister. His idea was to put a divider in, keep the ghillie kettle and some fuel. Anytime you want it, it's all ready to go rather than keeping them separate because that's what normally happens. I'd normally keep the ghillie kettle in a bag and then have kindling and whatnot. But then when you come to use it, you grab the ghillie kettle, take it out with you. Half an hour later, you've pulled up somewhere and you go, oh, I've got on to burn. Or obviously, you can go around catching collecting the uh, kin well leaves grass anything you'd like to burn in there really however it's much easier if you've already got fuel and this is a fantastic idea me and charlie have decided to leave the car go for a quick walk across the road over to have a look at the mirror with the mirror see the swans um, brave the weather both got our umbrellas out it's raining and it's cold kaylee and the baby have decided to stay in the car probably for the best fit really um, it isn't that pleasant out here, so heat is on, nice and warm. But me and Charlie have both decided to get our umbrellas. You can see them down there. Um, I'll quickly turn around and show you some footage of what it is like here. One second, just got someone coming past. There we go. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> his umbrella. Bye. And here we have baby Indy. Very excited about being in the Lake District. Look at how excited he is and how energetic he is. So we're gonna leave Ambleside now, head towards home. Um, we haven't spent much time here to be fair. We have been a few times before, been to Beatrix Potter World. We've been Round the lake itself, when the wind itself, round Ambleside, a few places, not many, not many, been around Keswick as well. So, this is just a, a short video sort of thing, coming up to collect something, and while we're here, just have a little day out. We may visit some waterfalls on the way home, unsure just of yet. Uh, we'll see where, where it takes us, won't we? Yeah? Crap weather. Very crap weather. But we are in sunny England. It is what it is. Make the most of it. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. Right. Bye for now.
left Lake District and we headed over to Ingleton Waterfall Trail. However, when we got there it was closed. Charlie was asleep and Indy was due for a feed. So we decided to go past it and see if we can see any anything, any more waterfalls, check the landscape out. I do have that as a time lapse video on the GoPro, driving through some farm, not farmland but through sheep space, well, not through sheep, but past sheep on a road past sheep. Now at the moment I'm stopped at Greta Bridge on the way home. Um, it's just behind me over here. You can't really see it because of the trees. However, there's a nice running river right next to me. I'll show you that now. Now again, Charlie's still asleep. Indy's feeding. So Kaylee and the other two over there, the flashing lights. I just thought I'd get some footage near the waterfall. Get, get back to nature, see some you know, near the river. It's been a while since I've been able to do this. See you Decided to head home from Greta Bridge. Just pretty much stopped at co-op. Got some stuff heading back in now and then. Um, we'll compile our footage from today after our little day out. It wasn't much. It wasn't as much as we were hoping for, but the weather wasn't very great. Um, it is what it is. We'll see where we end up next time. Right. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. I got a truck. You got a truck.